Hey Haynes, joining us live now from West Dallas, where the boys' school took extra care for its students today. Stephanie? Stephen Shannon, the boy's name is Hank Brown Rocco, and we don't know his relationship to the woman police have here in custody, but police say they aren't looking for any other suspects. On Tuesday, students and staff at Jefferson Elementary in West Dallas learned some tragic news about one of their classmates. Six-year-old Hank Brown Rocco died Monday after authorities found him with a, quote, possible knife wound to the stomach. How does it make you feel as a parent to hear that kind of news? Uh, yeah, it's so sad and we can't believe that. It's actually a lot to take in because having a child so close in age, it's it's heartbreaking because you don't know what a lot of parents are going through to have something like that come across. A spokesperson for the district said they had extra counselors on hand, an effort Danielle appreciates for her four-year-old son. That actually is a major step in trying to help people process things, especially the kids, because like I said, what if it is one of their friends and one day they're like, oh yeah, we were just playing and the next day, well, where's my friend? Emergency crews were called out to this home near 73rd and Orchard Monday afternoon. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner is investigating the boy's death as a homicide. West Dallas police are still investigating. They say one woman is in custody. We don't know her relationship to the boy and police say they aren't looking for any more suspects. In the meantime, neighbors can't believe it and want to know more. There's a lot of close-knit families on the, on the block. Um, I mean, obviously the kids are free to play here. It's a relatively safe environment. Um, you can see lots of toys in yards, so clearly it's a, it's a family neighborhood. Just the other day I saw him climbing on the porch. <laughs> 